So right now we are going on into case two. Case two is the one where case two partial frag. There is a factor that's being repeated. You look at the power. So usually you got a linear factor and the repeated factor. So this time around there are three fraction. So let's look at this one. So this will be my three cases and observe that this is a power one. So we decide the case and then we proceed to making same denominator. Same procedure, make same denominator. After that, we compare the numerator. So when you compare the numerator, your identity appear. The original numerator and your current numerator. So you can see that there is a lot of brackets. So you are advised to use the substitution method. So if you look at the brackets, how can, what values can you sub so that you can make the bracket zero? So for example, I can put in a minus two. So I'm going to put in a minus two. So can you imagine if you have put in the minus two, this will disappear. So it will actually become a zero if you have sub in a minus two. Because you sub in a minus two, minus two plus zero, minus two plus two is zero. So you end up disappearing B, you end up disappearing C. So punch your calculator very carefully. you will get A equal to four. Okay, we substitute some more. So right now I'm gonna substitute a three. So if, do you realize if you substitute a three, this will disappear. I'll be left with C. So now that you sub two values and you already gotten two unknown, 
if you need the third unknown, you can substitute any values. So we sub convenient values. So I usually sub uh, zero if I can, because zero, right? All these will disappear. So focus on substituting. So do you use the values that you have found? Yes. You use the values that you have found and the X that you decided. So the values you have found is still valid. So all these are the process of identities. So with whatever you have found, you return it. You return it, you will get your three nice fraction. So for case two, there's usually a lot of brackets because of the repeated factor. So for case two, right, it's a very common technique that we will do identities. We will use the substitution methods in identities. So case one and case two, we tend to use the substitution method. 